Hey, welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the R68 New York City subway car. So this is what it looks like, and it's a B division, which is the letter of subway cars, and it's used on the B, D, G, N, W, Q, and the shuttle trains. So yeah, I have like an 8 car train set, and actually built this uh, quite a while ago. If you saw my Twitter, I posted it there, and uh, I, the reason why I'm doing the tutorial right now is because I did like uh, visit like the the B and the G trains so I have like videos like that as you can see right here and it was just like pretty nice to look at I never been like to that part of like Brooklyn before so that was nice to see and um, yeah uh, let's get started on this tutorial so this car it's basically like uh, one like this and the one behind it is uh, back to back so you just like flip it the other direction and then that's a pair and then you keep making pairs so for this tutorial, we're just going to be building one car and then you're just going to flip it up the other direction so you have a pair and then you can make as many pairs as you need. So yeah, let's get started. So first off, we're going to make the base, which is the floor. Let's take gray concrete, place that two blocks above the tracks. And let's make it three blocks wide and 34 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Now let's do it the other direction all the way back. And then we'll do the other side right after this. So once we do that, let's add in, uh, I guess, the bogies. So for the bogey, we're going to go to the edge, skip two blocks, and add uh, Saiyan Terracotta. Then we're going to skip two more blocks, add some more, and then we're going to add another brick slabs in between all the wheels. And the inside, uh, we're going to make like a 2 by 5 so it sticks out a bit like that. And then we're going to have hoppers alongside all our wheels and do the same thing on the other side we're just gonna like skip two away from that edge and add in our wheels so place it down skip two add it again and add another brick slabs on the inside part for like the axles and everything and hoppers on the sides of all our wheels and yeah so after we do that, let's add in uh, these little ladders on the sides. So they're just going to be on like the left-hand side. So go right over here to the edge and upside down stone brick stairs with an iron trap door right underneath it. And go to the front and do the same thing on the left-hand side only. Put it right there. Add iron trap door right underneath. All right, cool. So let's now make this thing the coupling. So that's just like a double stone brick slab and stone brick slabs upper on the sides of it like that. Same thing on the back. Like that. And then we're going to take um, light gray concrete, go to the front again, and add in uh, this like front face. So I guess that would be like two C shapes like that. So that's one C. And this is like the normal C. And the middle, let's just connect them together. And we're going to add black concrete to the right hand side. Go to the other side and repeat the same thing. Go right over here, make a C, and another C. And then we're going to connect the top together and add black concrete on the right hand side. So it looks like that. All right, so now we're going to add um, black stained glass block inside the other hole with a glass pane right behind that. And same thing on the other side. Just the black stained glass block and then a pane. And on this side there will be a pane as well right behind the black uh, concrete blocks. Alright. So then we're going to add in I guess like this top area we're going to add stone. Just add stone going across all the way. And then we're going to do the other side. And the roof for the R68 is pretty simple. 
it's just pretty plain with just like four vents on top. I'll show you. So the roof, we're just going to go right over here. Just skip one block away. Pretty much that, just that part. And then add three stone brick slabs on the top. And make it go all the way to the back to the other side. Leaving alone that uh, light gray concrete. And we're going to go back the other direction. Almost there. This is actually longer than the A division. So it takes longer to make the subway car. So now we're going to add in the simple vents up here, which is just like gray carpet. Just skip two blocks away from the edge. Add it on all four corners. Like that. And then, um, so the bottom layer is asymmetrical. So let's do this side first. So here's the front, and we're going to add stone brick slabs. And let's go right after this, we'll add three. So one, two, three. And then we'll add a gray concrete block. And then we're going to add three stone brick slabs. One, two, three, and a stone brick stairs. Then two slabs and a stairs. And then four bedrocks. Then two um, gray concrete. And one cyan terracotta. Then a slab. Then three stone brick stairs, and then stone brick slabs all the way to the edge. And we're gonna go back to the front and just make all these slabs too. All right. Now the other side, it's gonna be slightly different. All right. For this side, we're gonna add um, stone brick slabs until we reach the end of this wheel. Then we're gonna add three stairs upside down. One, two, three. Then one slab one stairs, two slabs, two stairs, and then uh, we're going to take cyan terracotta, add one, and then four bedrocks, one, two, three, four, and then two grays, one, two, and then stone brick stairs again, and another gray, and then add stone brick slabs all the way to the edge. So it should look like this. All right, so next we're gonna take stone and add two to all the edges like that. All the corners, I mean. And then um, we're gonna go back to the front, skip two and add uh, stone, and we're gonna make this seven. So there's gonna be seven, six, seven. So just remember that those numbers, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, skip two, add six, one, two, three, four, five, six, skip two, and then add seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you should have like uh, four pairs of doors. And go to the other side, and we just like copy it like that. So you'll notice it's not like all like seven or all sixes. And that's because it's Minecraft, so I use like the accurate measurements, but we can't make it like exactly symmetrical. So you'll see like that one's a little bit shorter. Anyways, um, now let's add in, I guess, um, the MTA logo. So we're going to go add a quartz block and add it to right behind this pane right here. And go to the other side, do the same thing. Alright, so once we do that, we can add stone for the rest of the ones, like that. And there's a stone right here. Alright, so let's add in the doors. So we're going to take iron doors, just place in all the door holes, like so. Other side, same thing. And after that, we need to add in like the American flag. So we're gonna go to this side, just skip a block, add TNT, and go to the other side, do the same thing to this window, like that. And now we're gonna add um, stone to like um, next to like all the doors. So you see that space next to the door, just add stone next to it, like so. And 
after we do that, we're going to add, um, make it so it's like two stone, like two blocks of spaces uh, before and after the door, except this door right here in the middle. So yeah, just pretty much do that. That door, we skip it, just make the other ones two blocks. Two blocks of stuff, except this door, which is like the door in the middle. Actually, it doesn't really matter which one you put. But make sure like the one in the middle, it just has like one of them. All right, so now let's add in the glass. So we could take black stained glass block, fill in the three block wide holes that we made here. And we should be um, pretty close to finishing this off. We just need to add like the buttons, I think. And also detail on the front. <laughs> totally forget about that. So let's add in the buttons. So it's pretty easy. We're just gonna go to like, you see like the edge doors. We're gonna add buttons on the corner, tops of it like that. And the ones in the middle, we're just gonna add it to one side towards the middle. So you see this door, just add it towards the middle. This door on the edge, add on both sides. Same thing on here. Towards the middle here, and this one has two of them. All right, cool. So then let's add um, the detail in the front. So we're gonna have iron door. Just place that on the inside like that. Another brick fence on the front of that. So we just like wall off that door. You don't want people like walking out in there. Although there's a lot of people who walk between subway cars. So we're gonna add iron doors on the inside part of here too and add a pressure plate so you can open it up. And then we're gonna have um, gray banners on the sides of this light gray wall that we made. Like so. And it's add redstone torches right here. And actually, I think we put it on the back of this. <laughs> so like the really, the front of it is over there I think, but it, whatever, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, so yeah, next we're gonna add in the logo, the little, the, like the roundel or whatever you call it, the bullet, they call it a bullet. So just item frame, orange glass paint inside of it. And let's add iron bars, just to like the right hand side like that. Go to the back, add it to the right hand side, but since we have this card, it's connected, we're gonna add it to the other side like that. And let's add acacia wooden buttons like so all right cool so yeah you would basically make another car of this you just like flip it the other direction just rotate it 180 degrees and make like a bunch of pairs of them and um yeah that is pretty much it on how to build the r68 new york city subway car in minecraft i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do remember to hit that like button down below because i'll be uploading more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.